Howdy folks, a tool that we, well, we sometimes don't need it, but sometimes we do need it. And if it's at a really, 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 really low price, this might be the one for you. It's certainly the one for me. I have been looking at these at yard sales and Beaver has a better price <laughs> and it's a nice set. We're gonna get into it right now. Let's take a look at what we've got here because this is this was um this was one of those. It's a tool that I've had them uh, around and I do like to have them on hand when I need them. But there's something that I just wouldn't put that kind of money into. And then I saw this for the price it was. It was like what? Look at this thing. This is quarter inch to inch and a quarter pipe threaders. Yeah, and it includes the ratcheting piece here. You have the two uh, bars here to uh, yep, put together so you can uh, create this situation or put the situation together. And when I saw Beaver had it, I was like, yeah, okay, you know, but when I saw the price, I, I'm sold. And it's like, I, 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 you know, I cannot believe they did this. And it was like, wow. And of course, this threads into here. And of course, now we have a real honest goodness pipe threader, you know, a nice one. Because uh, I get into projects, every once in a while I have to cut a piece of pipe and put a thread back on it, and it's like, I don't have that, you know. And this is uh, standard size, so it's not metric, you know, yay. Yeah. And you have your, you know, ratcheting pipe, and of course you can turn it around and freewheel, or go the other way if that's what you need. But uh, what a terrific kit. And right now, I think I saw the sale price on it was like, <gasps> so I, I absolutely, invite you check the link on this thing i cannot believe this entire set you know for that price it's just like what <laughs> okay so real real quick let's go over the sizes here we've got quarter inch three eighths pipe now npt you know half inch three quarter one inch and of course the inch and a quarter right here already loaded up on the machine so you've got basically all the common sizes we're going to use but at this price, I, I'm just floored. Wow. Yeah, and so, uh, big warning here. This is a heavy set. Don't kid yourself. These are heavy cast pieces. And also, uh, there's a nice, you know, chrome finish here, but it has the sizes right here on each one. When you pull it out of the box, you know, you know what size you're dealing with. But there's also four jaws in each set that will, you know, thread your pipe. And the, say, like the heavy casting is amazing. Uh, the set is so heavy that it's nice to have it in this containment box so that you can put this, you know, toolbox up on the shelf somewhere. When you want to thread a piece of pipe, you can pull it out and you have all the standard NPT sizes that we all, you know, are faced with these days. The other thing was I was at a yard sale and they had like two pieces of the rigid, uh, which are good quality, you know but they wanted like $100 for the two pieces and they were in really bad shape. And I was thinking, man, and you know, old rigid pipe thread, man, those are good, but boy, that's, you know, a lot of money. And then I saw this set for less than half that and it's a whole set with everything complete and it'll package up nicely, it can store good. It was like, you know, for those reasons alone, it was like, that's a better set. And for half, less than half the price, my God, you know, like, wow. So I thought, you know what, Beaver, let's, let's show what's on sale this month at Beaver and just take a look. If Beaver has a sale price, it's always, that's like, that's the time to jump. If you're going to do it, that's when to, to you know, grab the deal. Uh, I'll be providing a link below in the description where you can find this set. Meantime, I got to go find a piece of pipe because we're going to do a little thread and just check it out, right? Yes. This is more awkward than I thought. Uh, I'm trying to film this while I run the threader on it and put a little bit of goo goo on there to help the pipe threader take a bite. This was some bad thread and I started to clean it up a little bit with the uh, three quarter and I'm trying to figure out how to film it. If I do it in front of my regular bench vise system, you're not gonna, I can't show it to you. I'm gonna be blocking your view. So I thought maybe we could try something like this and just see if we can get this. This is the three quarter uh, on here. And let's see if we can't get it. Let's see, we'll start it. Oh, I think we got the wrong. Yeah, there we go. And we'll sort of throw her up. Yeah, and I don't know, maybe we'll see if we can do it this way or something. Yeah, I am still having problems here. I'm trying to figure out how to show it to you on YouTube without making a mess. And it's not working. <laughs> yeah, and I can't hold it, so yeah, this is not going to work. Mm. 
at all. Oh my. Okay. Well, let's take that back out of there and see if we can get that off. Yeah, there we go. No, it's still, still a problem. But it's obviously, yeah. Ah, okay, great. All right. Wow. Well, well, the thread looks better. <laughs> yeah, dang. I had some issues with that. This was just not a good setup. It was, it was a pretty bad idea. You really need a proper vise to be doing pipe threading, and I was thinking about even trying to use this or something, but uh, nothing seems to be working here to hold it with being able to get the camera on us, so... Sorry guys, we're gonna have to kind of pass over on that one. I was really wanting to demo this thing a little bit, but uh, it's, I can see the threading here is all nice and cleaned up. So I know that, yeah, it's definitely doing its job. Well, welcome to my disaster today. I thought maybe we could try to do this somehow really close up with a camera and just some wrenches and, you know, or on a small vise or something, but it's not gonna work. Doing something like three quarter steel pipe requires a proper, uh, should have a proper vise for that. And Beaver does have one for about $150. They have a nice tripod one that, uh, yeah, you take a look at it. That's a, that's a nice system. But in the meantime, uh, I will provide a, a link in the description below where you can find this set. And I highly invite you to take a look at that price. That is amazing for what you've got here. You know, that, that, is, that is just, it was mind blowing. And um, with all the sizes, so you know, I can't, I can't do better than that. Uh, I, I can't even, not, I can't believe they can do it. But yeah, and I have broken uh, these jaws on uh, rigid, so I can probably break these too because I, I'm pretty bad with stuff sometimes. But yeah, but at the same time, it would be handy just to have something like this and say, who's this for? Well, I'm going to say for consumers, you know, and uh, just consumer grade. But also, if you have small commercial, something like that shop, where you get into pipe threading every once in a while or something, that would this would be a great backup because you have, again, all the MPT sizes there are that you're going to need for a set. Well, the other thing I'd like to do is just, <clears throat> let's just take a look at these jaw sets. See if we can get these screws out of here. And I was curious, too, to see if, by chance, you could put other somebody else's stuff in here. Oh, that doesn't come apart that easily. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, we're marked. One, and two, three, four. You want to always keep these in order if you ever take one of these apart and pull these out of here. But uh, I don't know. if I'll see if we can get the focus on that or not. But you can see the jaws. They sort of start at the beginning back there, and then they get deeper and deeper until we get up to here to the top, of course. But um, I'm just wondering if a rigid set would fit in this, but I looked around, I can't find my rigid set today, which doesn't surprise me. It's been a long time since I've had to deal with it, but just thought we'd take a quick look at that. Okay. Oh, by the way, before I forget too, uh, there is metal shrapnel <laughs> all over this rag here from when I cut that uh, pipe this morning. So if you're into pipe work or you, you think you need something like that, but for a backup even, it's like, phew, wow, awesome deal. Uh, let's see if we can do a draw today. We are drawing for the... Oh man, that thing's heavy. Here it is. The Gulu Power Pack. It has a really cool uh, ion battery system that can be charged up off of uh, like a USB-C, uh, I think they call that. And also it can be charged from a cigarette lighter plug, that sort of thing. And it's a power pack, but it also has a small inverter plugged in, which will go up to 150 watts. So it's great for like camping, traveling, anytime you might need some AC power around a little bit for the old laptop or something. Gulu, okay, so let's get the draw and let's get going. Let's just see who's got this today. <laughs> yes, here we are, the Gulu. Okay, now I've got the entries here. Not that many. Uh, it's summertime. A lot of people are doing a lot of different things in the summertime, so entry-wise, not much. <laughs> yeah. So you've got a good chance of winning if you put your name in, so yeah. Uh, that guy in New Zealand, you never put your name in. <laughs> I probably, uh, I can imagine filling out customs papers for that. Eh, you know. Does it, does it have batteries in it? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Anyways, let's get these tickets mixed up a little bit. And let's, let's do this Wulu thing. Now let's see who's getting it. There was a lot of entries from Arizona. I guess people in Arizona don't know Wulu or something. Uh, maybe. Uh, that could be. Okay, we got a ticket. What do we got here? 
And we, oh geez, oh man. Okay, right on, yeah, you're getting it. You are not gonna believe who you are, but <laughs> he has, I think he won something off us a long time ago. Uh, Kenneth, up there in Cleveland, Texas. Yeah, buddy, yeah, you. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, Kenneth, guess what? You're getting a gulu. You're getting a gulu. Enjoy. Yeah. Did I get a discount for shipping it? It's in the state of Texas, so maybe it'd be cheaper. I don't know. I doubt it. <laughs> and I want to thank everybody else for putting their name in for this. And next week we'll start another draw. Meantime, I'm going to get out of here because it's about 110 degrees in Texas today again. I thought for sure we'd get a break by now. We've had heat record after heat record. It's like, oh, wow. East Coast getting pretty good too from what I heard. I'm out of here. Oh, man. And uh, Don, just let me know if Keith is all right up there in uh, New Hampshire. I haven't heard from him, so I'm, uh, I'm a little worried, but it's probably just a vacation thing. But let me know if you can. Uh, meantime, I'm out of here. Uh, over and out. Ooh.